Hey guys, it's Kickin2JZ, and today I'm going to be building the fastest rotary on Forza Horizon 4. So follow me, and let's build this monster beast. So what do we have here is we have a Mazda RX-7 FD, which has a 13B rotary engine in it. And what are we, and what are we going to be doing is we're going to be engine swapping it to a quad 4 rotor rotary power. So we get the maximum powered rotary on this game. So we're going to go for the upgrades. It's funny how that this game, it shows a piston symbol. It's not actually a piston. It's meant to be a rotary. But anyway, so we're not going to be upgrading the 13B parts on this car. We're going to be going to the conversion side, engine swapping it, and we have some three options here, or you can use the stock motor. You have a 6.2 V8, so I'm pretty sure that's an LS, which I don't want to go LS. <laughs> um, a 1.6 inline 4 turbo rally, and the last we have the 2.6 4 rotor racing. This is amazing sound of rotary. So we're going to be selecting a 2.64 rotor racing, which is 309 kilowatts. So now we've selected that. So for the drivetrain, we can select or leave it as rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. But if you select it as all wheel drive, you're going to get a really good, better acceleration and launch. Rear wheel drive is just going to more power at the wheel at the rear wheels not on the front but we'll get all wheel drive for maximum so basically now we can go to the engine upgrades but there's only one engine upgrade is basically a restrictor plate so it says that removes the stock restrictor plate improves more torque so it makes more power so it has a stock restrictor plate and just remove the restrictor plate but that's the engine side Go to platform and handling. So we can see we can upgrade the brakes. So I'm going to upgrade it to race brakes. Springs and dampers. We're going to put the race springs in it. Because we're not going to be doing drifting or rally springs or rally off-roading. Now, the anti-roll bars, the front and rears. You can upgrade that. Prism more handling. Two going corners. But we're going to do a top speed on this thing. Not going to be putting roll cage in it because that's going to put more weight on the car weight reduction so we're going to completely take everything out of this car so we've got 1329 kilograms to 1117 kilograms now for the drivetrain so we can see we got we can upgrade the clutch might as well do that transmission get better transmission drive line for more or less so if you upgrade more parts, you get more or less the weight of the car and differential. You can pull race diff, so you can tune it as well. Now tires and rims. So tires and rims, we can make it. You can change the width of the tires, so more handling and more grip as well. So if you put big tires in the back, you get more acceleration as well. So I'm gonna put three or fives in the front, put more grip on it too. I'm gonna go for this thing, and we're just gonna probably leave it as. 17s error in appearance so we can change the appearance on the car it does affect on any of these specs so if i pull this bar or this bar or this bar or this bar or this bar it affects the weight on it but if i leave a stock it's going to be 118 i know the wheels is heavy as well even the tires which i did upgrade it to unfortunately i'm going to put I'm gonna put this front bar on it for the spoiler. We can add a spoiler to it as well. This is gonna affect our weight, so we're gonna put the sea west spoiler. The rear bar, I'm gonna put the next side skirts. I'm gonna put sea west for the bonnet. We can put the bonnet as well, makes it more or less weight on it as well. 
I'm gonna put this one June. All right, so pretty much we finished the car now. We upgraded all this power on this thing. I won't be having no time to modify all the coloring and stuff like that on the car. But anyway, let's let's unleash the power of the rotary powered car. Oh, the sound of this rotary sounds amazing. High revving engine. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're gonna try to attempt to get the top speed on the four rotor rotary. Let's see what we get. It's gonna be challenging, but here we go. Three, two, one, now. Anyway, we got to 390, so it was pretty, pretty close onto 400 kilometers an hour. But Raiders are really crazy powered engines, really crazy and high revving engines. So anyway, anyway, guys, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to Kick In 2JZ for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.